Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on an Issei Miyake Seiko collaboration watch. Now I bought this watch from Japan just a few weeks ago and I bought it for several reasons that we're gonna get into. So let's go ahead and start by doing the unboxing and you can already see that this watch has a not so traditional unboxing experience. The whole watch itself comes in this metal disc tin which I really appreciate. Like this is a very premium feeling box. I mean, it's not even a box, it's a disc. And you know, this is quite different from you know other Seiko watches I've bought in the past where it's like a cardboard or like a leather box. This one is fully stainless steel, which makes me think like the box itself is already worth quite a bit. So let's go ahead and unbox it here. And we have the watch here, but let me quickly look over to the side here. We just have a few extra links. We have a Seiko instruction manual. So, you know, even though this is an Issei Miyake Seiko collaboration, it, it's basically a Seiko watch just like any other. So you have your typical uh, Seiko warranty card. This is where I bought the watch from. And, you know, just a few other cards to show that this is an Issei Miyake guarantee with, you know, just a few other instructions. So you might be asking yourself, what is Issei Miyake? And Issei Miyake is it's actually a fashion brand so if you think of things like michael kors or kate spade i guess you would consider issei miyake part of that kind of sphere of watches so issei miyake has things like perfume you know clothes other accessories but they also sell watches now you might think oh okay so this is just another fashion watch but um, i'll go more into the detail on that later but let's just talk about the design of this watch. So you can see it's quite different from your traditional watch. It's a disc, you know, the entire thing, the dial, the bezel, the case, the bracelet, everything is made of stainless steel. And there's, there's really no lugs, as you can see here. Let me open it up and show you at the back. Um, it's a integrated or non-integrated bracelet. You can take the bracelet off, but it is, yeah, it's not your traditional watch. There's no lugs. And if I look inside, I don't know if you can see it, but it says that it's designed by Tokujin Yoshioka, produced by Issei Miyake, but developed by Seiko Corporation. Oh, I should have done that. So you can read it down there. It's developed by Seiko. So I would still consider this a Seiko watch. So this disc watch, the reason I got it, you can probably guess, is just it's such a unique watch. Like I think this looks super cool. Um, let me show you how that dial works, because you can see there's two sticks and how it works is you're gonna pull out this crown and you're gonna adjust it. And you can already tell that the inner disc is the minutes and then the outer disc is the hour. And then you can see the bezel. Yeah, I would still call this the bezel. Um, the bezel has your markers for the hours. So, you know, if I wanna to go to, let's say, let's go to 10 p.m. Let's go to our classic 1010. This is what it would look like. Now, I will say that it's a little bit confusing because usually you're used to the hour hand being smaller or shorter than the seconds hand. So I would look at this and be like, oh, this is, you know, 1.50 p.m. or whatever. But it's actually 10.10 10 because this is hours, this is minutes. So it takes a little bit getting used to. But again, I'm not here for the legibility or, you know, even the movement. The movement's quartz, by the way. Uh, I don't know what type of course movement it is. Probably like your standard Seiko course movement. So nothing special there. But what is special is just that dial design. It's so cool. Uh, you can see the crystal is completely flat. It's completely flush with the case and pretty thin. I'll put the specs down in the description below, but just a really nicely designed watch. All right, so here's the watch on my six interest. And I just wanna have a discussion on why I bought this watch and about fashion watches in general. So you can see on my six inch wrist, it, it fits pretty well. And it fits well, especially because there's no lugs, right? It goes basically from the case right to the bracelet. So I think this fits pretty well. And I'm sure this would fit large wrists as well because like the dials, the case is pretty big or it's a fair size. So I think this can fit small and large wristed individuals. So I bought this for two reasons. So one, it looks nice. I really think it looks nice. I mean, I like how the Issey Miyake is just printed at the bottom here. You know, they're not trying to like make it super obvious. They're not trying to like show in your face. That's Issey Miyake. There's no Seiko branding either. So I really like how it's clean. 
you know, this disc design. It's not the only watch that has this. Like there's other watches that do it. Even Seiko has you know, kind of like this disc-like watch uh, in their collection, but this one's really nicely designed. But the other thing that a lot of other watches miss, especially fashion watches, is that this watch feels nice. You can tell that this watch is made of premium materials. You know, it feels heavy. You know, this is stainless steel. And I think that's where a lot of fashion watches kind of, they ignore that part. So I'm thinking like, again, Kate Spade, Michael Kors are very classic of examples of fashion watches and fashion brands where I felt their watches before and you can go on their website, you know, their watches to me feel very cheap, very tacky, um, even their nicely designed watches. Cause I'll admit, you know, some of the watches seem nice, decent, but when you put them on the wrist, they just feel very cheap. And, you know, Issey Miyake, what they did with this watch and their watches in general, it seems like they've put the effort into actually making these watches feel premium. And maybe that's partially because this was produced by Seiko as well. So, you know, Seiko's quality control, even though it's not the best, it's probably better than Michael Kors. And, you know, being able to collaborate with a big watch brand, make sure that, you know, they design and create a watch that's actually you know, has high standards, is up to par with, you know, the watch industry. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that I don't think fashion watches from fashion brands and companies, that's not necessarily like a bad thing. That doesn't automatically mean that their watch is bad. I think that, you know, in my opinion, any watch that has a nice design and good build quality makes it a good watch. I'm starting to realize that, you know, brand isn't everything. I'm not going to not buy a watch just because the, the brand is unknown or the brand has a bad reputation. I feel like I would treat watches, you know, follow the individual model. Don't be loyal to the brand itself. Because I know there's some Citizen and some Seiko watches that I don't think look very good. Or I think their build quality isn't that great. And you can extend that to other watches too. Even Swiss brands like uh, Rolex and Omega. So again, I don't think, don't pay too much attention on the brand name, although that can be a good pointer, but definitely there's some fashion watches out there that I think look really nice. You know, a random example, I saw this Gucci watch online and usually I associate Gucci with just, you know, high-end fashion, not really being big on watchmaking, but you know, some of their kind of disc-like watches themselves look pretty good. So who knows, someday I might own that Gucci watch. So anyways, guys, that's it for the Seiko Issey Miyake watch. This is such a cool watch in my collection. You know, there's really nothing else like it, at least so far. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm really glad I was able to find it in Japan. There's a few times I've seen it online when I do a quick search, but definitely not a common watch that you see on the streets. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing these uh, interesting watches on my channel. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more videos. And as always, I will see you guys next time.